This is a third video about PLCs and in this one you can see how to control names, addresses and descriptions when you work with copied circuits. When you work in PC schematic you, you'll very often copy some of the circuits and uh, that's definitely a very easy way to uh, be very fast when you draw. If I start uh, by copying uh, the three circuits here, copy and just paste them and I'll rename the symbols in this command here. Everything is really fine so far. All my labs have got new numbers, my switches have got new numbers, my terminals have got new numbers, but my PLC symbols, they've always also got new numbers and I'm not that happy about that and uh, the explanation is here. When I have symbols like this uh, which are representing the component one PLC, it's uh, all about the name, everything called minus K1 is one component. But this component K1 has got a, um, a, a lot of terminal numbers too. And the terminal numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And terminal number 1 is here and here. And that's address 0100. Terminal number 2 is address 0101. And number 3 is uh, 102. But when you get here, you can see that now it's K2. And and this is not really what I well, what I wanted to do, but I can fix it by double clicking this one, and I could double click, go in and see what I have of available addresses, and then I could select this one just as I did in the first video. And when I do that, you can see I get the reference here, and and it's okay. I can do that, and if it's only a few uh, PLC symbols that I have, this is this is okay that I can do it this way. But sometimes it's not, and uh, I'll just control Z uh, t uh, twice, and then um, I'm I'm have undone what I did just before, and um, and then I'll show you a trick that has come here because this with uh, placing or pasting um, uh, some uh, copied circuits, you'll do that very often. You can do it like this in in in, in the diagram, or you can use the sub drawings as I'll show you uh, a little bit later. Um, and and every time you do that, you get the same issue about um, uh, uh, symbol names uh, when we talk about the PLCs. And um, I want to be able to uh, connect those two symbol types and. Uh, I'll show you how I can do that. First, I'll just delete this one because I can um, I can uh, do a couple of tricks here. I might take this empty PLC reference symbol, or I could go here and say that uh, I've got those. Um, might just uh, see here first. I've got this PLC output symbol, and it's got no type, no article number, only an address, and only this uh, description here. If I'm a little bit further in my project, then I might know which PLC component that I'm going to use for this uh, project here. And when I go up here in my pick menu, I can see I have a small compact PLC here. And um, I'll uh, select the, um, the output reference uh, symbol here. And this one comes with type and article number. And as I just did in the uh, two other videos that you might have seen that um, in the same series here, I can give it a number, I'll just call it K3, and I'll give it uh, the address that I want for this particular project. Addresses um, follow the project, they, they don't really follow the component as such, and, and the addresses don't as such have a value, They they not, not necessarily anyway. The what has a value in, 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 in this project here are the connected uh, components and uh, my, um, my descriptions here. What I want to do now is that I want to transfer this address, this terminal name, to this uh, symbol here. However, I want to transfer this output description to this reference symbol here. And um, I'll show you just how to do that. 
I have in uh, this menu here the PLC menu, a menu item called Transfer PLC Addresses. And Transfer PLC Addresses is a dialog that makes it possible for you to transfer information from the PLC reference symbol. Remember, the reference symbol is the one that controls the name and the addresses. And I can transfer name, type article number, and connection point names uh, and my IO address. I can transfer that from the PLC reference symbol. And then I can transfer from the IO symbol the label, if I have one, and the description about what's happening in, in this address here. And uh, I can do that. And um, it looks through my project and says that I have so and so many addresses defined in my project, and I have so and so many addresses in use in my project, and in use means that I have that many uh, I/O symbols, and that this is this is okay. They are they are not red; they are black. So when I have black values, it's okay. And I can simply press this execute and click and it says output six addresses updated and when I click OK and close you can see here that addresses have been distributed, the references have been made to the project here and all the new um, terminal names here or connection point names and everything is called K3 and this is what you can do when you work with copies, when you m work with copies of circuits or when you work with uh, sub drawings of, um, of um, in, in, your, in your project. And um, when you work with a larger project, uh, I'll just show you a couple of more things that you can do that in a later video. But first of all, just uh, to make sure, if I have this component here, K3, remember I, I picked this from the database. I s placed my reference symbol for the outputs and now I have one, two, three, four, five, six outputs and I have two left. So now I can continue in the way that you saw um, me do in the second video. So uh, a little more about how to work with the PLCs and I, I hope that you can use that.